All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to 3D print your parts uh, with Autodesk Inventor here. I'm going to show you how to export them so we can get the 3D printing process going. So hopefully by now you've designed all of your rocket parts and you're ready to 3D print them. So the first thing you want to do then is go ahead and come on up here to File and scroll down to where you see Export and then come over here and select CAD format here. So click on CAD format and we want to make sure that where it says save as type that you have all right STL file selected. So a .stl file is what we need to export our file as. Okay and then another thing is I want you to do is to save it to the desktop all right and I'll show you why here in just a second. So go ahead and save it to the desktop here. Click save all right Okay, so now let's minimize this here. And here's our part, Rocket Base, all right? And here's the software we need, Cura. And you can come over here and open it this way in case you don't see it on your desktop. Okay, go to your Windows icon and select Cura, all right? And it's gonna load. And I'm gonna kind of, once it loads, I'm gonna kind of shrink the screen down a little bit here, perfect. Okay, one thing you need to do is go to machine. And um, if you're, if the PrinterBot player or the PrinterBot Simple Metal shows up or even the, um, the Metal Plus, that's great. Ask your instructor which one to select. If it doesn't, you need to come to add new machine. This takes a second, go to next. And we wanna select PrinterBot, next. And ask your instructor, which one, which machine you're going to print with because we have the Simple Metal, we have the Metal Plus, and we also have the Play. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and select Play, all right, and hit Next, okay, and then Finish. Simple as that. <clears throat> now, we need to find our rocket base part here, and we're going to drag it on to, to Kira here, okay? And I'm going to delete this, actually, because I'm going to show you another way we can do it in case you saved it somewhere else okay we can go to file uh, load model file desktop and we can find it this way as well and hit open okay <clears throat> so here's our part it looks kind of small and if it looks small then you did it right because we need to go ahead and click on that double click on that and then we need to scale it and what we need to do is we need to make it 10 times bigger and notice here, if we change one, it'll change all of them. So we just need to change one of them. And instead of one, we need to make it 10. Okay, looks good. And it's basically, when you did that, it's creating the code right now to th start 3D printing this. But we need to change some of these settings over here. So make sure it says basic. All right, we need to change this to point 0.2. If you select point 0.1, it's going to take a very long time to print. So we want a layer height of point 0.2. For shell thickness, okay, I want you to select 2. That basically tells you your wall thickness. How thick do you want your walls? Go ahead and select 2. And we want to make sure enable retraction is checked. Bottom and top thickness, same thing. Let's go with two here so two and two and then fill density go ahead and leave it as about oh, 15 20 percent what this is basically telling you is your infill uh, how dense do you want your part if it's a hundred percent it's going to make it a hundred percent plastic not hollow um, and if you make it with like something 50 percent it's going to be half half hollow in other words Okay, but 20% is good enough for what we're doing today. Um, print speed, you want this to be 40, all right? And printing temperature, 208. Now here's where it's important, very important. So for support type, select everywhere, okay? Because it's gonna add in supports because notice something here, we have a hollow that we don't have anything supporting of the bottom of our rocket here so we need to put supports in for it or else it will not print right and then platform adhesion I want you to select raft okay 
And what that's going to do is it's just going to create a, a plastic surface for us to print on. Okay. And then another important characteristic is your filament diameter. You want to make sure that says 1.75. Flow percent, 100 is good. Nozzle size, our nozzles for these machines are 0.4. Uh, so the, all of our settings look good now. So make sure, once again, double check here. 0.2 for layer height, 2 for shell thickness. Um, your fill, bottom top thickness, make sure that says 2. Your fill density, make sure that says 20. Print speed, 40. Temperature, 208. And very important for your support, make sure you select it everywhere. And for your platform adhesion type, you select a raft. Okay. And your diameter, uh, your filament diameter we're using is 1.75. And our flow percent should say 100. Nozzle size 0.4. Okay. So once that's good, once you're done with that, go ahead now. And we're going to save the G code. So ask your instructor for a micro, for a uh, USB drive. And what you're going to do is when it's all ready to go, you're going to go to file, save G code. All right. Come down here and find that USB drive and save it. Um, but do me a favor. Save it with your name on there. So um, <clears throat> you could say Bob's. Uh, rocket base so I know who's is who okay or your initials or something because there's going to be other files on here and I want to know whose it is okay and then just select save and what that's doing is it's saving it um, to that SD card so we can plug that SD card or or the USB there into the 3d printer and get ready to th print here okay so that's it um, you're going to do the same, use these same settings for your rocket nose cone too. All right. So make sure you use all these same settings uh, in the same process we just went over for the rocket nose cone. Okay. All right. And if you're unsure of anything, please ask your instructor because uh, you're going to waste filament if you don't do it right. And you're going to waste time and filament. All right. Now for your rocket nose cone here, you need to do the same thing. Go to File, Export, CAD Format, okay, Change, make sure it says STL here, and save it, please, to your desktop. All right, and hit Save. Go ahead and minimize this. Okay, here's your nose cone. I'm going to drag it over here. Bring Cura back. Delete this guy. And once again, Drag your nose cone over here. Now, once again, double click. Let's scale that guy and make it 10. All right. Okay. And we don't want to print it like this. So we need to come over here to rotate. Okay. You see this green line? Well, we need to turn it 90 degrees. 89. All right. And that's probably as good as it's going to get there. Okay. So. <clears throat> Um, looks good. So make sure you can always do this center on the platform. Okay. And you want the same settings. So use a layer height of 0 0.2, a shell thickness of two, a bottom top thickness of two, a fill density of 20, a print speed of 40, printing temperature of 208. Make sure you have, uh, support everywhere. Platform adhesion type, make sure it says raft and make sure the diam diameter here for your filament says 1.75, your flow percent 100, and your nozzle size is uh, 0.4 here. Now, what you need to do, okay, now once it's all ready to print, <clears throat> come over here and go to file save G code. All right. And save it to that USB drive. And once again, put your name on there. Okay. So I know that it's yours and hit save. Okay. And that way you have both files on your SD card and we can print one after the other. Okay.
And that's it. Hope you learned, hopefully enjoyed learning how to 3D print here. And thanks for watching.